G'day folks, I'm Benno, welcome to The Shed. Well today is uh, Motorcycle Maintenance Day. Um, yeah, because I thrash the crap out of me Harley on the dirt uh, a lot, I tend to go through wheel bearings and um, I've been getting a bit sick of uh, taking it down to a dealership and having uh, wheel bearings fitted. So I've decided to make my own tool. <laughs> Might look a bit rough, but it actually works. What I've done is I've butchered up a, there we go, can we see it? There we go, it's a sash clamp. So what I've done is I've pinched the lead screw off it. There's my lead screw. And I'm thinking this might be a prototype of um, actually making a, a, decent, a decent tool to do this job. It's a uh, bearing puller in a tool. And I'm also going to use, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use my new, uh, my new hat with a GoPro mount on it. And uh, I'll see how, how that works. See if I can get half a decent video going out of that. Before I do, I've got a question for you. Where are we? This boosty over here that I'm working on. I need a name for it. What should I call it? I, don't, I really don't know. Um, yeah, my hardly. I, uh, maybe some suggestions for uh, what I should call this boost. Give it a proper name. And um, yeah, take it from there. All right, so I'm just gonna mount the camera up onto this arrangement here. And uh, let's see how we go. And I'll, uh, I'll show you how that, um, how well that tool does or doesn't work. Back in a moment. Well, here we go, we're back again. Um, so this is the, the hat's eye view. And as you can see, yeah, there's plenty of crap laying around at the moment. But um, what we do, let's get this wheel. I've already uh, put one of the bearings in, into the wheel. Yeah, is I'm going to use an NSK uh, high speed bearing. One reason I'll do that is they're a better bearing than Harley sells, and um, they're a damn side cheaper. So that's the that's the bearing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that in the freezer for uh, I don't know 15 minutes or so. Come back and uh, insert it into the wheel. Well, put it in the freezer, you actually shrink it down slightly. You don't want to put it in for in the freezer for too long. You don't want to make it brittle. You just got to uh, just need to shrink the um, the bearing down just a little bit, so it fits just slides into the um, the slot a bit a little bit easier. Once the bearings uh, fridge down, I'll be back. All right, so I'm back again. That's in the freezer. Uh, just something I want to mention. When you're uh, changing your wheel bearings on a Harley, well this on, on, a, on a diner at least, or my model diner, they have this spacer. When you're changing your bearings, when you, before you put your last bearing in, your second bearing in, make sure you don't forget to uh, put that spacer in there because you'll stuff your bearing if you've got to pull it out and um, try and get it back in again. Something else I suppose I should mention is you don't have to take the drive pulley off, which I've done on, on, in, on this job. Um, and I've just taken that off so I can clean it up properly. It's uh, like the rest of the bike, it's pretty filthy, covered in dust. So um, while I'm doing this maintenance, I'm going to give it a bit of a clean up at the same time. So to set the tool up, it's pretty simple. We just insert the whole thing into the wheel. Now you'll see on this side it's it's out a bit. I'll just crank that down to to match the right size. Once the bearing goes in, in pl is put in place, plate goes on, nut goes on, another one on top just to lock it in place so it doesn't undo. Um, what I don't have is a left hand thread which I actually really needed on this, but <coughs> I'll just use a second nut on top of that 
and uh, and lock it in place. Then it's pretty much just a, a pretty simple, well, should be pretty simple, although I only have one hand, uh, one pair of hands. I've got two hands, but I only use one. So pretty much it's a matter of just crank it. We say over here, we'll see that's moving in. I'll just get that to the right spot for this wheel. So hopefully you can see that. The bearing slips over the top, that slips over the bearing. This disc is made out of uh, 10 mil plate. Just slightly smaller than the uh, outside diameter of the bearing, so it slips into the slot easily, but um, won't slide off your, your, your bearing edges. So the bearings just come out of the freezer. It'll push in by finger, finger tight, push in finger tight pretty easily. And slightly off there. But the tool will or will or should Oop, pull it the right way. You just got to set that up on the bearing so that it is not going to catch on the edges of the spot where it needs to be inserted. And from here, it's just a matter of pull it down. We don't have to do it like this, but and that's just pulled the bearing straight into into place. Because I've got the don't have a left hand thread on that, that's undoing that. So I'll just finish it off with um with a spanner and the tool's not quite working exactly as it should. But there it is. Let's pull the bearing. I will make up, I think, a different um, version of, of that puller. But there we go. The bearing's perfectly in place. And maybe I'll just pull it in a little bit more just to cramp it down onto that onto that center um what would you call it that big that spacer inside the hub so there's the tool's not a, a, a complete failure um, What's going on here? I'll just muck that up. There we go. The tool's not a complete failure, but it's not. Um, I'm not 100% happy with it yet. But I'll just crank that down a little bit more. Just make sure everything's perfectly in place. That's as it should be. Both bearings are running nice and smooth. That's the other side that I've put in already. That's ready to put back together and uh, put back into the bike. Basic uh, little bit of maintenance on the bike and my first attempt at making up a puller tool, which yeah, it works, but it's not as good as I would like it to be. So I'm going to have a go at making a, a, a different, uh, slightly different version of that. All right, guys, I'll catch you later.